Hey guys, it's Rhett Sandusky, team leader of the Sandusky Group here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Before I get into the meat of things, I just want to say if you get any value at all from this video or others you may watch, we'd be honored if you subscribed to our channel, liked our stuff, gave us feedback in the comments, whatever helps this be worth it to you. In this video, we will talk about, yes, what the heck a deposit is, two, is a deposit even necessary, and three, if it is necessary, how much should I put, what's the norm, what's recommended? I also want to give a disclaimer that we are in the Louisiana market, so I'll be going off of Louisiana terminology, Louisiana State Purchase Agreement, so if you are in other areas, some of this may not be quite accurate for you. So I would say if you have a good realtor, you probably know what a deposit is before you go to make an offer. However, with a fast moving market, I know that sometimes you learn things as you go, so there's definitely some grace there. So first things first, what the heck is a deposit? A short definition is that a deposit is collateral held onto by the seller. Another way of looking at it is a buyer putting skin in the game to appear more serious to a seller. A longer definition is that a deposit is an amount agreed upon by the buyer and seller that the seller holds onto during the process. If at all the buyer walks away during a time they are not supposed to, the seller in return gets to keep the deposit for themselves. Now I'll be honest in that the Louisiana State Purchase Agreement does tend to favor the buyer a little bit and there are multiple ways for a buyer to get out of the contract and get their deposit back. Usually there's three main ways for a buyer to walk and get their deposit back. One is during your inspection period. If inspections go south, you can't come to terms on repairs or the buyer just gets cold feet, they can walk at any point during that inspection period and get their deposit back. Two is the appraisal process. If the appraisal comes in low and you can't come to terms with buyer and seller on a price, the buyer is able to walk and get their deposit back. And three, if financing falls through uh, for any reason, as long as a lender can write a letter saying that the buyer is not able to obtain financing, yes, the buyer can walk and get their deposit back. There are some various situational things that allow a buyer to get out of the contract. However, those are the three main ways. So second point, is a deposit even necessary for me to do? I would say a few years ago that the deposit was kind of a gray area in our market. Agents often kind of viewed it as more of a burden because we had to pick up a deposit check, drop it off, make sure to cut it before closing. And like I said, since the contract favors the buyer, a lot of times they saw what's the point of a deposit anyway if a buyer is just going to get it back. However, in our current market, uh, without a doubt, I absolutely recommend a deposit. Just like earlier mentioned, uh, a deposit is a way for a buyer to put some skin in the game and appear more serious. So if you are in a multiple offer situation, you don't put a deposit and you're going up against other buyers that are putting a deposit down, you can see how you would lose a little strength in your offer. So if a deposit is recommended, that brings me to my third point and that how much should a deposit be? What's the norm? What is recommended? In other markets and other states, I've seen the deposit be as high as 1% to 3% of the sales price, which can be a hefty amount. Louisiana's kind of fallen behind in that category and that our deposits are not that big. So typically they go off a of price point, anything 300,000 or less, a popular amount you will see is 500 to 1,000. Uh, of course, the higher you go up in price, the more your deposit can be, 2,000, 3,000, um, five, and I've honestly seen it go up to 10,000, but of course that's probably more for a higher price point. But also just a reminder, and that the higher your deposit is, that's the more skin you're putting in the game, thus the more serious you appear to a seller. So in a market like this where there are multiple offers, you are absolutely seeing deposits be higher than normal. So there you have it. That's what the heck a deposit is. I hope that helps when you go in to make your offers. Of course, that's just one term to make your offer stick out in multiple offer situations. We'd be honored to help you and uh, answer any questions that you may have. Uh, drop a comment, leave some feedback. If you're in a different market, tell us what the norm is for your market. Um, but otherwise, we'll see you next time and happy house hunting.